Hi, I'm Kim Forston from Old Town Athletic Club in Warrenton, Virginia, and it's January, and we're talking health and fitness in the new year. Chris Cole and I work in different facets in the gym here, and we find particularly in January that people make some common mistakes that prevent them from sticking with their health and fitness throughout uh, the entire year. Cole, what do you find is, are some common mistakes that people make? Well, in January, I know in gyms across the country, you typically see an influx of individuals coming in. And those people that are initially coming into the gym, they may gravitate towards one thing. It could be that one thing they saw in a magazine or something they saw on TV. And they kind of just stick to that one thing the entire time. And quickly they could find that one thing being very boring. Um, and they can quickly fizzle out of that one thing and not stay on the fast track. When you say gravitate towards one thing, do you find that people come into the gym and they just focus on one piece of equipment all the time? Um, uh, what do you mean by that? So maybe that one thing that they could choose is, you know, running on the treadmill or something or sticking to an elliptical. Um, I know the weight room itself can be an intimidating thing if they've never worked out with someone or experienced a weight room. And that's where um, training or personal training can come involved. And breaking that fear with an individual and guiding them through the weight room, teaching them things, what to do and how to do it, can really, again, help them on that fast track to a health and fitness, uh, healthy lifestyle. Chris, what do you find happens, uh, you know, in your sports specific training or in Parisi or in, even in Pilates with people who are just starting out in the, in the new year? What are some common mistakes that people make? So a lot of what we see in the sports specific world with training, and again, we're talking about January here. So athletes really want to hop back into their, their programs and they're, they're very excited to get, to get back and, and exercising and working out, you know, working toward their sport. But if they don't take the right philosophy or the right steps to their, their exercises and, their, and their, their exercise programs, injury is a, is a major problem that, that we see here. So making sure that we, we take those, those necessary precautions is, is very imperative. It sounds like boredom and overtraining are two major issues that we face in January. And those are really two ends of the spectrum, people who want to do too much and people who are, in, are, are so intimidated that they find that they want to do too little. How can we help people overcome you know, these major issues? Well, most health clubs out there, um, they do offer a wide variety of programs. This could be something like group fitness or personal training, um, different cardio classes, boxing classes, a TRX, anything like that. So I really, really um, would love to see more people taking advantage of those programs out there. And everyone that is in that class taking it right now was standing on the outside and was intimidated by that. But they're in there now doing it. So I really, really would love to see those January folks stepping into those classes and going out of their comfort zones and getting into that. Absolutely. We talk a lot about um, fitness personality, members finding their fitness personality. People join with friends and sometimes those friends are marathon runners, but they're the last thing from a marathon runner. So they're forced into running when they really aren't a runner. And I couldn't agree more. If you, if you find an environment that has a lot of different activities that they can participate in, it's, it, it's a great idea to try some things even though you might feel a little uncomfortable. There's nobody ever on the face of the planet that was ever an expert at anything the first time they did something. So I think diversity is really important. Definitely, definitely. And don't forget about all the opportunities in your community. Um, a simple game of pickup basketball or flag football, you know, there's so many activities out there that's, that's offered. Um, go ask your friends, you know, go, go mountain biking, go, go hike, a, hike a trail. You know, there's, there's so many different things that, that we have available to us that's, you know, very fun, very, very healthy. And, you know, one of my philosophies here is, you know, think, think like a kid, all right? So remember what those things are that you love to do as a kid and, you know, revisit those things and then, you know, put them into action now, so. Excellent. That is an excellent idea. And how do we help people, how do we prevent people from overtraining? What do we do? 
Well, finding a program or structure to get into can not only break that boredom thing, but also avoid what Chris said, um, the overtraining, you know, and having a, you know, a certified individual that knows exercise and they can help you avoid that and help prevent injuries like, you know, you discussed. Even finding a like-minded buddy to work out with that gives you some security when you might be in an environment where you're a little uncomfortable um, and you both like to do similar things. Yeah, and, and doing your research and making sure that you're, you're using the, the proper sources is, is also very vital in, the, in this uh, experience. So again, you know, we, we have the, the expertise here and you know, we'd love to, to help you out, but the research is out there and, and you, can, you can go find it yourself as well. Research tells us that 80% of the population is still not involved in regular exercise. Creating a plan that fits your fitness personality, finding your personal motivation, and finding something you enjoy will help you stick with it. Enjoy the journey. See you next time.